Okay, so today I have a get ready with me video and I kind of do like a little chit chat throughout it. Um, I had several products that people had been asking me to use that I post on Instagram or talked about in my Friday favorites. Um, one of them was the Sonia Kashuk Cream Bronzer and this one is in Rich Bronze. Uh, a lot of people asked how I use this so I applied that in the video. Um, another one was the Leo LA Triple The Solution. When I did my BB cream videos where I kind of went over authentic Asian BB cream, I told y'all that I was probably going to be getting this one soon and that I would do a review demo. This isn't really the review, but I did use it in the video, and so you get to see kind of the coverage on that. And then also, I posted a picture of this quad on Instagram, and I swatched it right here for y'all. This is the Sonia Kashuk quad in, let me just, in Moroccan Dunes, and really beautiful colors, um, taupey silvers, so there that is up close. Gorgeous color. So if you are interested in seeing this look that I put together using some of those products, and then go ahead and keep watching. All right. I'm going to start getting ready. I look crazy. I'm going to start out with this Leo Ali BB cream. I really like this stuff. Um, Really nice consistency and great coverage. I'm going to do a review on it, but I will just tell you right now. You can see, look at that coverage on it. It's a little bit light, but um, really good coverage. And I brought a bronzer to warm it up. So I really like this because it has like a pump, like a pump form. And I really, really like that. Um, I find it pumps out like the perfect amount to cover my face for the first layer. I'm just going to put a little bit more on like in some of my problem areas. Now I'm going to take this um, Instant Age Rind from Maybelline in the brightener. I love these things but I honestly am trying to use it up because I have had it for almost a year now. And uh, I kind of want to use it up because it has like a sponge top. And I don't want to keep that around too long, but I'm just going to put that in the triangle under my eyes to brighten it up. Really good brightener from the drugstore. Another good one is the Maybelline Dream Lumi. Um, great alternatives if you don't want to spend the money on the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter and Radiant Rose. That's another, that's one of my favorite, or the YSL Touche Clot. Like that one is amazing too. But this one from the drugstore works great. To finish up the face, I'm going to, a lot of people asked how I use the Sonia Kashuk bronzer, so I am just going to show you how I use this. I'm going to use the stippling brush from uh, Real Techniques, and I just kind of like dab it in the product a little bit, and I just, with a really light hand, take it on here and buff it up. You don't want to come too far in, like you want to maybe stay with the angle of your end of your eye. So I do that and then I kind of just take whatever's extra on it and just rub it in like up near my temples. And on my jawline. I'm going to use this little Benefit Stay Don't Stray on my eyes, just put a little bit of that down, boop, boop. I love this stuff. I was told that that Benefit stuff, when you get it in the other, like the bit full size bottle, the squeeze tube um, squeezes out too much product. So honestly, I'm going to keep that little doe foot applicator because that's like what I like the most about it. Um, well, I like the product, but I like the applicator too. And I think I'm going to keep that and then I'm going to um, just like pump the product into there. That way I can always control how much I'm getting. I'm going to take this Maybelline Color Tattoo in Lavish Lavender and put that all over my lip. Uh, really pretty lavender color. This is the part of the new Maybelline collection from the Maybelline Color Tattoos. I 
forgot to do the rest of my face. So, blush from NARS, and this is in Matahari. Really nice, dark, cool tone. Something that would be similar as Wet n Wild's Heather, Heather Silk. It might be just a little bit lighter. Buff that in. this Wet n Wild bronzer and or highlighter and reserve your cabana and I'm just gonna dip use the brush and just do it at the tops of my cheeks same brush I forgot to bring my highlighter brush in now I posted a picture of this quad from Sonia Kashik on Instagram this is at Target right now and I just think it looks super high-end and pretty we're gonna do a look with the, some of these colors in here and just so you guys can get an idea of what they look like. Okay, first I'm going to take this crown brush and I'm just going to go into the lightest color right here. And I'm going to put that all over the lid on the inner portion. Okay. And then I'm going to take like this taupey color right here on the same brush. I'm going to go on the outer por portion. Honestly, these shades are shimmery enough. I probably didn't need to put down that lavish lavender. You could have just done like a plain like painterly. Base. I'm going to take a clean brush and kind of blend the edges of that. This is a brush from Bedellum Tools and I'm not going to lie, I got this at IMATS and I don't like it. It's scratchy and it sheds like crazy and I washed it and everything and like it just keeps shedding so... Um... I wouldn't recommend them. This matte brush and I'm going to go into the color Naked 2 in the Naked Basics palette from Urban Decay. And I'm just going to take that and use it as like a transition color. Um, you want to try and use any matte color you have for a transition color just because we have that Sony Kashuk has so much sparkle. It's the only problem with that quad is like all four of those shades are very sparkle shades. So, um, you know, you ha you'll have to pull out from another palette like a matte shade. I would do like a little get ready and chit chat. So, video, I have, this is my first time to film a video in a while. I just filmed one yesterday, but I feel like I kind of took like a week, a little bit of a week off of filming videos. I couldn't catch up. Oh, this was the, um, in taupe. This was the Rimmel Scandalize in taupe. Like, I had filmed a bunch of videos and, like, went gangbusters on some videos and, like, posted a bunch of videos all at once. And then I just didn't, I ran out and didn't have any more to post. And so, I'm going to go into the, this Foxy color and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Venus. Foxy is matte and Venus has, like, a little bit of a sheen and I'm just going to put that up under the brow bone very very gently like you want mainly just foxy and just like tap your brush in Venus and then I'm gonna go right into Venus and put that one in the inner corner I'm gonna go back into that Sonia Kashuk quad and I'm gonna take the darkest color right here and just line under the lash line and I'm just using like a flat shader brush for that and just kind of go it's almost like a burgundy-ish sparkle color I'm out of frame I'm gonna take the taupier color right here this taupe one and I'm gonna go into just this more inner part um, and I'm going to take this darker color right here and I'm also just going to darken up just a little bit on this outer corner.
Then I'm going to take the Bedellum tools and just kind of meld that all together. I'm going to use Max Permaplum Eyeliner and just do my waterline. I love Permaplum. I mentioned it in one of my favorites. It's a great alternative to black. Then I'm going to use Stila's Stay All Day Liquid Liner. This is my absolute favorite, like, must repurchase liner. You have to get this. It seriously does. You don't ever have to fuss with your liner again, and I don't ever set it. I'm just going to do a little wing like that. Are you trying to come in here? No. Are you recording? Yes. I'm just not talking right now. Yeah. You want to come and say hi to everybody, honey? That's okay. I'll just look through the crack in the door. Oh, yeah. You don't want them to say anything bad about you. Yeah. All right. I love you. Love you. Probably have to edit that out. People probably say, oh, he's not supportive. Okay, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. This is the MAC eyelash curler. Definitely worth every penny. I don't think it's even that expensive. I'm going to go in with L'Oreal Voluminous. Just really lightly. Um, it's just a waterproof carbon black one. And then I'm going to try this new Revlon Lash Potion Grow Luscious Mascara looks very fancy. It has like a big fluffy wand. I'm going to go in with that over top. This is not in waterproof, so... Last thing for a lip combo, I'm going to go in with this Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Nude. And just kind of roughly outline around here. And th these are really creamy. I love them. And then I'm going to go in with Revlon Lip Butter in Strawberry Shortcake. One, uh, one of my favorites. Okay, I'm going to finish my hair and I'll be right back. So this is the finished look. Um, I really love this quad. I feel like it has great colors. As long as you can just pair it with a matte color, I think you'll be good. Um, it's about $16 at Target. I think it's limited edition and it's called Moroccan Dunes. So try and get your hands on it if you are interested in it. It really reminds me of the MAC Shadows and Extra Dimension. It has that like rippled effect, really nice uh, pigmented colors. Definitely really, really pretty. So... There are the colors right there, and I will swatch these on my hand for you. And that was really just one swipe. So, really, really pretty colors and very wearable. I hope you all like this look. Have a great day, and thank you for getting ready with me. I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah.